Showing up there at the end, kind of being able to get his other heroes out of dodge, and they're smoking right back out. This TA doesn't have Aegis anymore. Really big kill thinking it. Oh, what was that force staff? He Double tried to burrow. go for a Cog's pushback, but it looks like maybe an offensive force staff. BCM, as a result, is still free to be able to go in. He finished off mind control. He is going to be caught in this tornado with the cold snap in the air, and he's just going to get burnt down too quickly. But Yuragi is still going strong here. Nails Miracle with Amar showing up as well and completely negating the damage of ILTW. ILTW is left it's alone. The, the man, man on the island standing, and he may have a lot of tank, but he doesn't have any damage, and eventually he's going to get burned down by the four man of OG. Is Ice Bash going back. up? Maybe? Okay. Rampage for Yuragi, but ILTW gets the triple kill in return. Kuro on the retreat, but Yuragi as a spirit form is going to be able to catch him with missiles, and he's still got a swap too. Or no, not a swap, but it doesn't matter. A double Rampage for Yuragi in this crazy back and forth game. We have had Gladiators, 45... Really fills the game, and Gladiators is very prepared for any sort of jump. Especially when around Ace. He has a Ravage to threaten with. We're going to see some else start to open up onto the tide. He'll look to take down Ace. They'll see that save it for Stellar. Oh, he's going to be able to take it to the side oh, in time. Celery. He's able to do it. He gets Ace out of there to safety. And now, Gaming Gladiators, they can look to try and poke back in. As they'll force out the BKB from Nisha. Ace still with the Ravage, of course, at the ready. Secret's got to be careful now. They've got to run. Boom. He's not going to let them. He's ready to get in with the Remnants. Chase them down, Ace. They'll put the Ravage. He's able to tickle the four of them on the edge of it. As they take down Nisha, they've got the stun locked down over towards Ice, Ice, Ice. Double kill for Duraccio. As Gaming Gladiators, they'll continue upwards to the high ground on top of the male. Triple kill for Duraccio. As, I mean, it, this is phenomenal stuff, T. I mean, Gaming Gladiators. They're even going to get the cleanup. They may even just get Rampage. the Rampage. There it is. Oh. 25 minutes in Rampage up in the high ground at Team Secret. I mean, my goodness. Duraccio. And he has no buyback. Yeah, I mean, oh, the BKB sick. wouldn't save him. I mean, the BKB wouldn't even save him anyway because you have level 25 in Mizra. Alex. Alos. Alos. Yeah, he's been forced up forward. Pretty far forward, in fact. Torrent Storm gonna lock it down a little bit longer, but he'll move in onto the puck, try to deal with Mizu. In the meantime, Alacrity will go on to Tino, but here comes the Vortex out from Bob on the TA. But Alacrity is not bothered by this whatsoever, though he is completely stunned up here by Tino. But the time lapse is out from Joe Camp into the boat now, onto Palos with the side blades. They're taking care of him two at a time as Mizu, he'll find a double kill, and Alacrity, he'll just keep going. Onto Shanks, a triple kill out for the Templar Assassin. And there'll be a second lane of barracks, I think, here, John, as you don't have buyback available on this Medusa. Bob? Oh. We got Silence Stop. I don't think... Oh, never mind, they can lock oh. him down. They've got the Silence, and they've also got an Ultra Kill. Looking for the Rampage. Would you look at that, John Vincenzo? He's just trying to get oh, out. Yeah. But he'll be the Rampage here for Alacrity. Oh, this poor tree and protector, John. He's had such a rough game already. He ends the game with giving a Rampage back the way of it did. Shard is beginning to become a little annoying here. But a second lane of range barracks, perhaps my control, just kind of blinking forward and doing some damage. They're going to try and burn out this Aegis. Now for the second life, Nygma. He's locked. They're actually going to go for it. ILTW immediately jumps in. Snowball to dodge, dodge the Ice Blast. That was a smart play for the Stone Gate. Still going to be able to go off, and ILTW has to be able to reset. They cannot fight into this Dusa, who is raining down arrows upon them, and ILTW gets swept up by the wave as Chrysalis buybacks is able to chase Nygma him down. Here. Mass buybacks. Miracle's going to die here as well. ILTW, one last play from him, but it's going to be, what, a five position on dying kill? Is that all you're going to get? Not even close. A rampage for Chrysalis. Somebody Make it a double, serve up a triple, Crystalis wipes out Nygma, and that is going to be the end of game one, no doubt. Who is in control of this? Yeah, that thing is so good. And also against Marana. So they'll just go in, they know that there's no dragon form. They, they will use this, let's see how they approach this. Play. Let me go straight in. Yeah, Blink Arena, Avalanche though, the Tiny is arrowed as the kisses land in. Tiny's still alive somehow, as Dunya being blown up by the Mortimer's kisses. Now the Morphling though, with an Avalanche of his own, does turn back and fight into Pakas, who's picked up a double kill. The fight breaks down, 
Buyback from Tiny Pugna and the Mars all coming back in towards the pit as Dark Margot reinitiates into the silence. More flame, water, silence, stunned up and destroyed. The execution from Thunder Awaken superb as Pakas picks up an ultra kill. Given the rampage, let's go. Hookie Number is five. available. Oh, Sir the rampage. They're Spooky waiting. skeleton. He's down as well. They're going to get a sixth hit. There's another one. Dark Margot's tossing Mini around. Pakas is going to blink forward. Get a double rampage. Double rampage 17 minutes in. Like the way they executed this, especially, really they have to rely on their end of opponent making mistakes, being out of position, and Bravers aren't doing that right now. Even look at this positioning, hugging a high ground ward I mean, behind the tree. They're it's prepared beautiful. for these moonlight moves. Again, moving in under a sentry and an orb's brain. They were just waiting for Enigma Galaxy to walk into their hands. We'll see if Enigma Galaxy can get anything out of this fight. I don't know if they can. They've already lost two heroes, three heroes to the damage of Nubito. Buybacks are coming out, Enigma Galaxy by the feel of it, giving it one last effort to try and take a fight against Brain, but it's not happening. Ultra kill here for Nubito. They'll jump over from 11. They're bringing they him over. They give that boy the rampage. There it is. 25 minutes in, Nubito gets the rampage, and that's enough for Enigma Galaxy. They'll tap out. As yeah, they're Brain, him already. They saw him. The harpy. This harpy, dude. It's this, doubted this him. The MVP. They know. They're just straight in. BKB's on cooldown. Okay, oh. TP's are coming in. They're going to keep pulling him further. Another stun. Ah, they've got him. Right. Between Coddle, they, they gotta kill this harpy. Between Coddle and between Harpy, oh they, oh they took it. Oh, but they but took it, take back. it back. Immediately stolen straight back. They're gonna oh. commit him for the fight up to the high ground. I mean, Tundra's ready to keep it going. They're into the high ground. Take out GH. Oh, they might get 33. Oh, oh he's healing oh, up. My. He's healing up. He's gonna be oh, fine. My. Just kidding. And now it's Death Prophet that's in trouble. Mind control taken out. Triple kill for Skeeter. He's ready to oh, go for more. Give him the oh, rampage. Give him the roll. There it is. <laughs> There it is, ladies and gentlemen, 27 minutes in. Speed up. Get it. He's got 229 attack speed right now with that bloodlust and inner beast. Raw, taken out by the shield. Sharpshooter on the ogre, just tickling and chipping away. But now they know they can go in onto Benny with a BKB of Tiny, wailing away at the gyro, finishes him off quite simply. Grabbing the double kill for Kataro and Dunya's gonna be the rampage, third one. Rampage. They just don't Here do any go. damage to Tiny. He's got he's got 34 armor, he's got a rampage, and GG is called. Go on, get another one. Sanking, walk out your fountain. We didn't even consider actually the fact that Bane's a calendar bang on this whole game, but this didn't even come into play. He's, he's done it, he did it once in the mid lane, but that's when they five man smoked yep. and Vitaly was like by the mid to uh, die tier two. But yeah, apart from that, I don't think he's he's landed many. I mean, there's just so many stuns on the enemy team and silences and stuff, especially the Quap link. Once that came into play, oh, yeah. shot, I mean. Well, they can try. Give it another shot. Yuma's just way too strong. Way too strong. Clock and Sanking both buy back. They do still have Epicenter. But Clock doesn't have his Aghanim Scepter yet. And Sexy Yogi, he's trapped in the middle of all five of these Hakori heroes. It's an ultra kill for Analog and they're diving tier fours. Look for the Rampage, go on. Given the Luna, GG's called as Analog picks up his fifth and maybe sixth kill. It's Vitaly to take that one in the end. And Storm, where are you? Hiding in the fountain. Go for a smoke themselves. They're going to try and fight on the low ground. Azura, he'll break the smoke. That'd be a great target for Boom Boy. He's going to go down without buyback. And you need that Fiend's Grip to at least get Azura down as they even find Garcha. That's a great blink in from Narvin. Off you go. Garcha, he does have buyback, but he's got to commit it. It's the last ditch attempt as Wami will move in on his own. Look at the damage output. Poor old Toy just needs to go back to the fountain. Wami, he just keeps running forward. They move in again though, Toy. Nice toss back. Uh, it's on to Varish though. He's going to get tossed back again. Maybe they can find the ABBA, and they will, but can you find DB? That's the real question. DB might just bounce and dive them by himself, honestly, John. He's just so tanky. Toy, get jumped on. There's your toss back, but a very nice impel from Narman. Toy's gone without flyback. That'll be it. GG should be called at any moment. Nami geniuses, well, there's a nice speed grip. Maybe they could somehow turn it as Massa is going to TP back to the fountain. But DB, oh he God. just won't die. Fountain means nothing. They'll call GG. Look at this Rampage. guy. 
Can we get it? Yeah, we can. Oh, yeah. Fountain Rampage. Nothing quite oh like God. it. Oh, Army Jesus.